Hello friends and students. This is the second lecture in the XS3 code series. So in the first video we saw what an XS3 code is and in this lecture we shall see how we can perform XS3 code addition. Now we have seen that how we can get an XS3 code. An XS3 code is obtained by adding 3 to the BCD representation. It's as simple as that. So we add 0011 to the BCD and we get all the XS3 code and we also have observed that the XS3 code is an unweighted code and is self-complementary. Right? So with these basics, let us see how we can add two XS3 numbers. So let's begin with 1 plus 4. So when I add 1 plus 4, we get 5. But since it is XS3, so I should actually get 5 plus 3, which is 8. But when we perform XS3 addition, so what happens? You first write the XS3 representation of 1, which is 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. And for 4, the XS3 representation of 4 is 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. And I add them, I get 1, 1, 0, 1. Right? Now this does not correspond to 8, isn't it? Because I have added 3 here and I have also added 3 here. So I have added 3 more in excess. Because we have added 3 twice, so I have actually added an excess of 6. So to get the excess 3 result, I need to subtract 0, 0, 1, 1. I need to subtract 3 to just get excess 3 addition answer. So we have 0, 0, 0, 1. So this corresponds to the value 8. Okay, so this is as far as if you are adding two single digit numbers. So when we are adding two single digit numbers, what happens? The total added result will be in excess of 6. So I need to subtract 0, 0, 1, 1. I need to subtract 3 to get the excess 3 result. So I hope this is clear. So now let us take two digit numbers and let us take three digit numbers later and let us see how we can perform excess 3 addition because there are a few rules there. So let us perform 29 plus 39. So 29 plus 39 in general when you add these two numbers I get 68. So I add 3 to both of them. So here I get 8 plus 3 is 11 and I get 9 here. So I must get 9, 4 bit representation which is 1001 and I need to get 11. So what is 11? It's going to be 1011, right? So excess of 8 is 8 plus 3 which gives me 11. So this is what I need to get. So now when we want to add 29 and 39, what should be done? I write their excess 3 representations. So for 2, for 2 is 0, 1, 0, 1. So it is 0, 1, 0, 1. And for 9, we have 1, 1, 0, 0. I have 1, 1, 0, 0. And that is added with 3. Its x3 representation is 0, 1, 1, 0. 0, 1, 1, 0. And then for 9 is again 1, 1, 0, 0. So whenever we add we actually group four binary digits together. So this forms group one and this forms group two. If I have another digit, it could form group three. Now let, it, let me perform the addition, the usual binary addition. So I get zero plus zero is zero, zero, one plus one is zero with a one carry, one plus one plus one is one with a one carry. So this is a carry of 1 from group 1 to group 2. So that is a point to be remembered. So I have a carry of 1 plus 1 with 0 with a 1 carry. 1 plus 1 is 0 with a 1 carry. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 1. With of course a 1 carry, I get 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. So now what are the rules here? The rules is that if a group generates a carry. So if you have a group and if 
it generates a carry to the next stage. If it does generate the carry to the next stage, then we add 3, which is 0, 0, 1, 1. And if a group does not generate a carry, so it generates carry. So it generates carry. If it does not generate carry, then I subtract 0, 0, 1, 1. So very easy to remember. So if it generates carry, it is generating a carry. So you add 3. If it does not generate a carry, so here this is not generate a carry, not generating a carry. That means the carry is essentially 0 here. So if it does not generate a carry, you subtract 3. So this group generates a carry to the next stage, so add 3. And this does not generate a carry, so therefore you subtract 3. So when I add 3 here, what do I get? I get 1, 0, 1, 1. And here I need to subtract 3. Alright, so when I subtract 3, what happens? So here I have a carry of 2 and then again a carry here, so this is 1, 0, which is nothing but 2. So 1, 0 represents 2 in decimal. So 1, 0 minus 1 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. Here I have a 0. 0 minus 0 is 0. And then I have 1 here. So this corresponds to 9. And this corresponds to 11. So this is what we have got. So two points which we need to remember. So before that, when I want to add two numbers, two decimal numbers, first write its axis 3 representation. Make sure that every group of four bits is termed as a group. You perform binary addition. If there is a carry generated by the group, you add 3. If there is no carry generated by the group, you just subtract 3 and we will get the answer. So now let us take a three digit number, let us add and see if we get the result. So I need to add 356, 579. So first let us get the answer here and then let us verify whether we get the same answer by using XS3 addition. So first just add them. So this is 15 with the one carry, this is 12. Plus 1 is 3 with the one carry and then 5 plus 3 is 8 and then you get 953. So this is normal addition. So for x is 3, I need to add 3 to all of them. So I get 8, 6, 9 plus 3 is 12. So I need to get 12. Its representation is 1100. 0, 0. And then I, I need to get 6, which is 0, 1, 1, 0, which corresponds to 3, isn't it? And then 8, which is 1, 0, 0, 0, which corresponds to 5. Alright, so this is what I will be getting at the end, 1100, 0, 0, So this is the answer which I need to get. So let us perform addition. I need to write its respective axis 3 codes. So the axis 3 for 3 is 0, 1, 1, 0. So for 3 it is 0, 1, 1, 0. For 5 is 1, 0, 0, 0. And for 6 is 1001 all right and for 5 again is 1000 for 7 is 1010 and for 9 for 9 is 1100 so as i've already mentioned we have to group four bits so this becomes group 1 so this is group 1 so this is group 2 and this is group 3. We perform ordinary binary addition. So let me perform addition here. So 1 plus 0 is 1, 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 0 with a 1 carry. So there is a carry from the group to the next group. So then I have 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1, 0 plus 0 is 0, 1 plus 1 is 0 with a 1 carry to the next group. Next I have 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1, 1, 1, 1. There is no carry or we can say that carry is 0, there is no carry there. Now what is the rule? If a group generates a carry to the next stage, add 3. If it does not generate a carry, subtract 3. 
So this group is generating a carry, so add 3. So add 3. This also is generating a carry, so we need to add 3. And this is not generating a carry, so we need to subtract 3. So when I add them, what do I get? 1 plus 1 is 0 with a 1 carry, 1 plus 1 is 0 with a 1 carry, 1 plus 1 is 0 with a 1 carry, I get 1. Next, 1 plus 1 is 0 with a 1 carry, 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 1 with a 1 carry, so I get 1 and 0. So here, since there is no carry generated from the third stage, I have to subtract them. So 1 minus 1 is 0, 1 minus 1 is 0, 1 minus 0 is 1, 1 minus 0 is 1. So what does this correspond to? This corresponds to 12, 6 and 8, the answer what we have got. Right? So this is how we perform excess 3 addition. Right? So very simple, we just need to remember these two rules. Let me repeat, if the group generates a carry to the next stage, you add. If it does not generate a carry to the next stage, we subtract 3 and finally we get the excess 3 added result. Very simple. So in the next video segment, we shall see how we can perform excess 3 subtraction. And to view all the videos in digital electronics, either you click on the i icon or you make sure that you check the playlist, digital electronics. And do not forget to like, share and subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications of further uploads and thanks for watching.